Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Gonna continue on through Pipe Rock Plateau since we're getting close to the end of it, finally. Taking my time on it. Let's keep going with Angry Spikes and Sparkling Pipes. Just love that entire concept in that, those words. Also, I might as well try out the extra coin rewards badge. Just so I may at least use it once, basically. Let's see how we go. Because we'll get more coins for taking out enemies. So. Take you out. Apparently that works on the spike balls too. So you can just get lots of lives if you wanted to. Like that. Also. This entire level is based around the pipes going up and down. And we stand on them. So we'll see how that goes. Oop, careful. Gotta time that better than that. Very nice. Can I get up there? Doesn't seem like it. Just gotta be careful. More careful than that. Okay. That. Let me go down here. Go to here. And we can use this pipe to get into the background. Also, I love the pipe texture in this. <coughs> because it's not just pipes, it's got little sparkles on it as well. Little stars. Which is really cool. Also, there's an elephant fruit up here, so let's grab that. Grab some water. We can water this. Get a vine. Because we already got the stock or well, the ten coin. Uh, but there's this pipe up here which does nothing, but also there's a red, red Yoshi block with that extra life for us. Pretty good secret. Uh, how do I get out of here? One, one of these? No. Maybe this one. I know one of these is going to let me out. Oh, it's probably the one over here, where the 10 coin was. That would make sense. If only I was logical. <laughs> I'm very illogical, though. <laughs> so it's fine. Thank you for that. Getting a lot of coins out of this. We don't really need tons of coins, though. This is so cool. But imagine if it was open world. That would be cool. One day we're going to get an open world Mario Bros. I think that would be really cool. What does getting him up there do for me? Oh. That actually took out some stuff. Interesting. Did that help though? Also we can get up here apparently. Don't think there's anything else up there though. That we need to worry about. We can get rid of you. Activate that. And there's a 10 coin. Good thing we were careful as we went. Although I don't think we need the spike ball for that to work. Uh, also, what have I done to this? I feel like I've done this wrong. Maybe that's why I need the spike ball. Oh dear. It might be fine. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Gotta be careful. There we go, like that. Is it bad if we go down in this hole? I don't know. Should I trust it? I think I should. Let's go down. Yep, that is a secret. Okay, cool. Just gotta be careful. Wonder flower. Spiky dance number. That is so cool. It's just a timing minigame, but it's got a whole party going on. I love that they can just include that in a Mario Bros. game. Never would I have guessed. Also, I think we've got everything, so let's get to the end. And go! I think that's the last of this underground area, so... It's a shame, because I like the vibe. Also, I just like noticed the, like, droplets just around. 
They're very far and few, but like few and far between, but they're so cool. I just love water for some reason. I think I have an obsession with water, probably. Anyway. Get that again. Very nice of the game to just give us so many purple coins. Flower coins. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's do a little bit of challenge. Badge challenge. Whoa, climb jump. Got a new badge for this as well. Jump against a wall, then press B to jump straight up once. So rather than a wall kick, we get a wall jump. Which I feel like is the same, like, I, I say wall jump, but, yeah. Every time I've said wall jump, I mean like a wall kick. But I think wall kicks are supposed to be the ones where you go away from the wall, rather than... Like, wall jumps are the ones you actually go up the wall. I don't know, anyway. The whole thing of this is we just need to go up. Very nice. Good save. Up we go. We can only wall jump... Yeah, only wall jump once. So we have to... Do it just right. Yeah, but there's also a purple 10 coin up there that I need to get. We can also wall jump after a wall... No, wall kick after a wall jump. Gonna get confused because I'm, I'm just... I'm just so used to saying wall jump for everything, basically, so... You know what I mean, it's fine. Also love the sparkles on the... Wonder Seeds. Also love the icon for it as well. Just everything seems to work so thematically well with itself. It's very well designed. Nicely done! We got the badge you just got used as a gift. Do you want me to wear it? Sure. So we have that now. Now let's go up this way because there's a little bit more. Bull Rush Express. Four star difficulty. That's getting quite difficult pretty early on, so... Would probably be wise to ignore this, but also I think I'm going to change badge for this quickly. <sighs> I remember struggling with this one a little bit, so let's see how we go. The good thing is though, we don't have to worry about recollecting 10 coins after we have them. So here we go. No time to, s to stand around. No, I missed it. I might have needed that, or it might be fine. I'm not sure. I think it's just there for hints. Go, 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 go! Just go, 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 go! No! It's fine. Hopefully there's nothing above there. Oh, I know I needed that. No! Just grab it before the poison gets up, because if the poison catches up, I'm in trouble. I did pretty well, considering that was the first try. But yeah, we need to be quick and careful. Try not to miss things, but I think we got all of the important things now. Other than the Wonder Seed, which we get automatically, so... Because we have to activate the Wonder Flower to move. So yeah, we should just need to survive now. I think the blue coins are just a bonus, so we don't really need to get them, but it is cool to get them if you can. Got it. Love the power block thing there. Ow. There we go, that's how you want to do it. Look at all these coins there. Very nice. Up, 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 up. And there we go. Well, there's a little problem here because I can't get this way. There was a hidden block there, I didn't know that was there. It just felt like there was something there. So it might be good to get a uh, elephant fruit and then come through here. Because I don't know how else I'm gonna, gonna be able to do that. Huh? Why'd, you come this way? <laughs> Why'd you come this way? Because secrets, obviously. Nice. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. 
Although I think he might have been referring to the the way that we went in the in like in general. I need to get the secret. Also love the like shape of the rocks around here as well. It's very consistent. I like that. But anyway, that's done. But also not complete, which I think I can actually just press minus to reach that quickly. No. Guess not, anyway. Uh, let's go get a power-up, which I think the best way to do that is probably from the... the arena battle thing here. The KO arena. So I'll get two of those, get through it, and then... just have one in storage for when we get to the end of the level. Actually, a lot of the pipes have just different, unique different patterns on them, which is really cool. Also, I do like that you can just kind of jump right across here. Although, it might depend on what power-up you have, or badge you have. Also, you can collect purple coin, the big purple coins with the shells of the snails as well. As it turns out. I don't know if that was going to do anything else for me if I just left it going, because you don't have to click the seed right away. But that's why I kept the thing in storage, because that makes it a lot easier to just do that. Nothing else there, I don't think. Thank you, sir. You came the cool way. And there we go. Secret exit. A secret path to a secret part of the world. <laughs> There's so much more to this than just going to the end, I guess. I like that. Springs in the Twilight Forest. We get a bit of a shadow level. We like shadow levels. Here I am. I'm impressed you found me. Cool. I've always loved the shadow levels from in Donkey Kong Country Returns. What a pretty sunset. It's cool to see it in a level in a game like this. I have to figure out what everything is based on what we can see. Also, if I have, didn't mention before, the glows, the the like glowing spots that we can see. If you interact with them the right way, they give you coins. Ah, it's fine. Break the blocks. Gotta be careful where I go. Whole bunch of stuff here. Secret, nice. Anything else up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I did have a good day. How about you? Also saw that. Let me just give me a second. I want to get this thing. Using the hints to get up here. Okay, nice. But I did see that tr uh, platform back there. The tree platform. It moved. So let's ground pound of that. It just takes us up a bit. Okay, cool. Just checking. It's worth it. Just gonna kick that, nice. And there's a checkpoint. Bouncy, bouncy platforms, okay. Take that. And that's got the Wonder Flower by the looks of it. So let's grab that. And now for Wacky and Weird. Because Toad is now tall. We are tall. So tall. And if we crouch, we become small. I've highly recommended to hold down the button for crouching rather than holding down because it means you can have a lot more control over it. But whenever we crouch it, it also changes the trees in the background, which are also holding a bunch of purple coin bits for us. And they'll go up if we get, um, if we uncrouch. 
gotta play carefully to get all the stuff. Not that we need all these purple coins, but it's still good to get. get. Also, if we just become tall in here, we can just walk along and hit all the blocks for us. Which is really cool. Nice. Destroy everything. Ten coin, nice. Also, that just puts us out. We need to be careful. This is so cool. Just the way that we change the environment. I also love how it changes all the stuff in the background too. Not just in the playable area. Bounce. Nice. That's off of everything. Wow, there's a thing up there. I didn't even see it. Nice. Also love how the music changes as well as we go. Well, there's the thing. It goes up with the trees, of course. Well, let's grab it. There we go. Back to normal. Life's full of surprises. It really is. <laughs> like tolification. Oh, I messed that up. Oh boy. I don't think that's gonna make it. I might have to replay the level. Life's full of surprises. Life, Life is full of surprises, like not getting to the top of the flagpole. Okay, let me just double check that I have to actually play it again. Also, L just shows the levels, okay. Yeah, I'd have to play it again for the top of the flagpole. <laughs> okay, well, let's try and speedrun this then. I'm not gonna be good at it, but I'll try. Also wanna power up. Let's go. Also, there is a limit to how many purple coins we can hold, so we're gonna have to be... We're gonna have to use those at some point. Careful how many we collect. Because we don't want to collect too many to the point where we can't hold anymore. I think the max is 999, if I'm not crazy. So I'm going to skip that and see what the rest of the level's like normally. Which seems about what it was before, so. Just pretty chill. Instead of just going through with extra effects. Ow. I'm really doing bad at this. Okay, let's do this right this time. Take the time. There we go. Wonderful. I do like how quickly you can get through levels sometimes if you don't care about anything else. So there we go. Let's keep going. To Cosmic Hoppos. Three star difficulty. This is gonna be interesting. A hopper based level again, which is good. We like those. Also, it's bouncing the item around. Okay, up we go. Just a platforming level based around hoppos. Also, I like how we have we're going up in the level instead of the usual left to right. Like, that's happened before, obviously. It just doesn't normally happen this early in the game. Also, this is not where I want to be, is it? Nope, that's fine. Didn't get stuck, at least. Nice. Let's get you moving. Like that it takes out the enemies for me. Okay, so we need to get up there. So we need to get the thing down here. There's some really good lighting in this game. I just want to say that. I wish I could design lighting like this because it's really good. It's very consistent. I'm very inconsistent with my style. Okay, very nice. Move. 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 It's not working. Hang on. There we go.
Oh, so I forgot I had the ability to glide. I should probably be using that more. Nice. Oh wow, that worked really well. Hang on. Can I actually get up there? If I had the right badge on, I could. Ow. Also, I see that there as well. How do I get that? Do I just... Bounce up for it, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna bounce the coins off of it. That's just for a purple coin, okay. I'll leave that then. Ah! Calm down, sir. Also, hang on, is that going down to... Anywhere? No. I think if we get another one down, we can actually get the... Coin in there. It's kinda tempting. Right? Yeah, that's how we- that's how we do it. Cool. I understood this- the assignment. I'm also gonna just use my power up. It's gonna waste the mushroom, but that's okay. I wanna go down this path. There's a 10 coin. Okay. No, 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 down the way. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose it. Very nice. Well, that's all the 10 coins. I feel like there's a better word for those. I don't know what that would be, though. Just the big coins? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the wrong way to go, but I feel like we should be going up here, right? And get this to go somewhere. Into there. But also, go up here. Party's just getting started. Okay. So what do we got here? We get this into the right position. And throw the shell. Hit the spot. And get the Wonder Flower. Whee! Oh my goodness, so high in the sky. So high in the sky, we're going to space. Space! We're in space. Which kind of works a bit like underwater. Have to pr keep pressing buttons to go up. But also we move a little bit weird. Oh, we need to be careful. <laughs> and not bump into spikes. Wee this is so cool. We're just in space. There's... No, 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 ho no hesitation. We're just in space now. This is reminding me a lot of Celeste. I don't know how to feel about that because that took a long time. I'm and I'm surprised I managed to get through as much of Celeste as I did. Also, whoa. <laughs> I need to be careful not to touch that, I'm sure. I feel like it would be bad to bounce off of that into the oblivion. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Grab the water seed. I'm falling. Ah, I'm falling too. Well, there we go. That's a really cool water seed. Also, I like the pipe animation that we have of jumping into it. But there we go. That's the secret done. Couldn't exit the level without getting that. So let's finish up. Very nice. So cool. <laughs> oh, interesting. We've definitely got enough of the um, <laughs> Wonder Seeds now to progress. But let's keep going down this side path with Expert Badge Challenge Jet Run 1. Three star difficulty. This is one of the more unique kind of badges. This is a special looking one as well. In the special class of badges. Jet run. Run continuously at incredible speed. If you run off an edge, you'll also sh uh, have a short window where you can jump in midair. Let's go. Just like that. 
Just gotta tie myself a little bit right, and we'll get through. Very nice. Very nice. No, I missed it. There we go. Just like that. It's an interesting badge, but it would take me a bit of practice to get used to. And probably take anyone a little bit of practice to get used to. It doesn't just work. For some people it will though. And now we get a special warp to another area. Nicely done. We got the badge you just use as a gift. Do you want me to wear it? No, thanks, I'm good. <laughs> that's not going to be a common one to use. You cannot stop from running. But anyway, let's go. Up and above. The special world. Well, wow! This is really something. But where are we exactly? The entire area feels really special, doesn't it? I don't sense any royal seeds here, but we should explore a bit. So yeah, we're in the special world. Let's go with Pipe Rock Plateau Special. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Five star difficulty. The highest difficulty to have for a level. Let's see how we go. I remember really struggling with this one the first time I did it. So let's see how we go. I'm going to try and tackle the special worlds as soon as possible. It might go good or it might go bad. Also, just an extra thing, because we're in the special world, the wonder seeds and wonder flowers are white. It's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Giant Hoppo. And if we bounce on it wrong, it's gonna move the wrong way. And we've already missed the thing that I'm trying to get. Ow, 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 ow. Welcome to the special world. That's about how I thought it would go. <laughs> so a lot of these challenges are gonna take me a lot more than just one attempt. Just by default, there's no avoiding it. I'll try and do my best, but we literally have to just trust everything to just work out, <laughs> which is doubtful. I'm gonna take the high road while this goes up, just because I don't wanna mess it up more. I want this though. That's gonna move around. Let's go these donut blocks, which will fall through on them for too long. Please hit the switch. Oh boy, oh boy. Nice. Wow, is that the end of the level? That went way faster than I thought it was going to go. I struggled with that so much on my first attempt. You have no idea. It took me a while. I got mad a little bit. It didn't take me like forever, but it did take me quite a few more attempts than I was hoping. Nothing else there by the looks of it. Let's go. Very nice. I'm glad that I got through that pretty quick. Somebody's gonna be mad about that because of how quick that was. I'm mad about it, so... But there we go. So there we go. Also, because we're in a different world and we have different types of Wonder Seeds and all that, that, that's basically there to restrict you from just progressing immediately. And and just only be, being out of like... Like it stops you from just doing one world 100% and then like skipping the next few, basically. Although there have been some glitches found to even have, um... Just pass anything. You don't have to play all the levels if you know how to glitch right. Because you can get a second player to swap places with them outside of bounds. And then just like, break, sequence break everything. Ah, uh, but anyway, there's also a shop here that I want to highlight. I've got a variety of standees. If you're looking to buy standees, this is the perfect shop for you. 
This is a very special shop. Because all these standees are for specific characters, except for the ra regular one. Which, if we buy this... is just a random one, obviously. But as I said before, it has a chance of being the same as one you've already co collected. But for the rest of these, every time you buy one, it's a different one. It's always unique. So this is how you want to probably get 100% of the game. You don't want to spend all your purple coins, flower coins, on getting random stands, standees. You want this special world shop. I, it took me a lot, it took me far too long to realize you could do this. I just thought it was just a regular shop to pick which one, which category you wanted to pick from. But no, and now that, it's, that I've got them all, it's sold out. So this is, this is the way to go. This is the way to live. It'll make it a lot easier for us getting 144 standees. Also love all the different variations of the characters as well. Because that's what the standees are. All the different forms of each character, basically. Which is also showing some that we haven't got to yet, so... We'll get there. Thanks for stopping by. Let's head back to previous world. Which we can do by using the level select screen. Makes it a lot easier to get around. Where are we? Trying to figure out where in the world we should be. I think this is probably the closest to where we need to be. Where we need to go.